think I'm in love, guys. Hey guys, Genshin Impact came out, and this is one of the best games I played so far in 2020, guys. Now. I'm going to show y'all everything in here. You know, if I can find combat, I'll show y'all it. But I'll show y'all everything at the end of the day anyway. So, as y'all can see, what I just did there, like a couple of seconds ago, was glide. You got unlocked that by certain things in the story mode. Now, today, this is a review slash first impressions. I'm going to leave all my stuff at the end of the video. Like my first, like my first impressions of the whole game and all that. But I've been playing for an hour straight, and I can say this is one of the best games I've played so far. And I'm gonna tell y'all why right now. Now, guys, as you can see, you can hold and boom. Like, you got different types of Titan. You can throw this thing, or you can hold and throw it, and it can do like something else. Some skills do that, some don't. You also got this grayed out skill right here. It's kind of like an alt, basically, sort of, kind of like an alt. Now, also, you can dash, or you can use the same button to run. You can jump up, and you can climb up things, but it takes a good amount of stamina. Now, also, for range types, you can automatically have your thing locked at automatically just shooting. Oh, they're going to enemy right there. Let's get it. Now, I can shoot like this, or I can have it automatically locked like that, so I can just keep boom, boom, boom. And it does more damage when you have it like this than as to just doing like that. See, I was doing 10 and now I'm doing 8. Now, she is a pyro, so basically fire, that's what pyros is, and it was like wood. Now, also, this game has a lot. And when I say a lot, it has a lot of story in it. And it has a lot of voice acting in it, too. Like, it was so much voice acting in the first thing. I can't believe it. Now, guys, I'm not going to do no editing. I may do a little bit of editing, but not that much in here because this game is just so beautiful. I may even let y'all hear the voice actors themselves. But anyway, now, inventory. This is the inventory right here. As you can see, we got, like, this is the weapons. This is the relic artifacts. This is the character development, aka level up things. That's the food. Still don't know what that's for sort of yet. This is the materials to make food. This is the quest. And this is the way, this is the pre precious items. Oh, I couldn't think. I don't know what that is for anyway. Now, you can switch through characters just by clicking on it. As you see, it is a small cooldown, but you basically switch them just by clicking on them. And the whole game is in English, guys. Of course, if it wasn't in English, Game Boy Voice, well, I'd still be playing. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. Now, you can run around the world, you can get food, you can get materials, but when you, but yes, it's an open world type of game. Why the heck can I get this? Let me see. It's, I guess some things could be unlocked for Pyro, huh? No, I don't know why I can't get this, it's weird. Well, they also give you like hints, like over time, like as you can see, they go to hint right there, the hints will pop up. Now, guys, there is a lot of things in this game. We're going to also do summons later on. And yes, there are summons in this game. Now, here we are at the hero menu. Now, we got attributes, obviously. We got artifacts, which you can equip to your character. And it gives you set bonuses. We got the like, constellation. Constellation, okay? You unlock that at some point in time. And also, we have talents now talents is basically your skills as you can see you're gonna end up unlocking some at some point and it looks like you got lockable talent info that's what it look like it said and you also got profile okay the voiceover outrider amber reporting for duty like yeah you got a voiceover and you can and you got story chapter story one two three now you'll probably unlock that later on down the road and as for your main character you got all the same things now, how do you level up? You just click level up and you use one of these books. Boom. Look, now she level seven. Now, the the thing for the change right here is basically it's your glider, okay? 
this is your glider. The dressing room is one well, one part is your glider. It may unlock more things later down the road, but I don't know. Now, how you upgrade your weapons, you just click enhance and then you click that and then you use the upgradable material or you can use other weapons to upgrade it even more now as y'all saw i have some things to even switch out to be honest because i got better weapons and yes these weapons do show on your character in the real world now as you see she has the bow whatever we already saw the bow she had now let's say i switched it for the third thing bow, the third three star bow let's go out of here and then yeah, she was messing with her little witch comb. As you can see now, she got this three-star bow on in effect. And she's also on fire, but we ain't gonna worry about that. Now, also, we also have, like, what is it, that artifact? You can also switch out artifacts, as I said. You remove, you can enhance them. You enhance them with enhanced materials, obviously. Now, that is the basics for leveling up. It is so much more stuff to this game than just leveling up. Like, you click here, you got a lot of stuff. Like, the birthday is unable. You know, of course, a gamer boy asks if y'all want to follow me on here. And yeah, you see my girl Pyro right there. Now, also, we're going to get into the summons right now. Because... Oh, why not? And I just want to throw her real quick. <laughs> yeah, I love that girl. Zoe. Let's go. Yeet, yeet, yeet. Yeet, yeet, yeet. Like, you see that? That was like that. That was like that. Okay. Now, this right here is the event overview. Basically, to show you the event. Fate foretold. Whoa, you can get B-cells on that? Is that what you're telling me right now? Test run, try for in progress. And, okay, bad, 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 bad. Now, what I'm going to do is you click this little star up there and it takes you to the gotcha system because you know they got to get you. Now, I don't know if you get this for pre-registration pre 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 and stuff, pre or not, but basically you got the little things right there. I got 11. I don't know how I got 11. I just got 11. Now, I'm going to use this on the beginning thing. Let's see the animation together because I didn't even see it. Oh, I see, I see a purple right there. I see a purple right there. Ooh, ooh. Hanno Burger, okay, whatever that is. Debate Club. Shop Shooter Oath. Haha, <laughs> Shop Shooter Oath. Raven Bow, okay, that kind of looks sweet though, I ain't gonna lie. Okay, we got the same sword. We got that. We got Raven Bow again. Oh, we got the characters. Let's go, we got the character, let's get it. Let's get it. Hey, I knew I saw something there. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I knew I saw something there. Now we got the character. No, yeah, we got the character. Now and some give you character, some don't. Colossal. Oh, that's like that. Now, what I want to see is so when we get out of here, will we be able to? Yes, we will. We'll be able to play with the character right away. Let's get it. Okay, so this is her skills right here too, and then we hold. E -e 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 -e. Oh, it's just like, cause remember, guys, the person who made this is the same people who made Honkai. So it's just like the skill from that one girl that's in Honkai, and she also, and she puts a shield on herself. Okay, okay. Now we're gonna go back into there. Now we got her. I think it's basically guaranteed. Let's be real. When if you have like eleven of those, it's guaranteed. Now. Here is where we got like all this other the other three stuff. This is where you can get hero, I believe heroes and equipment. And this where you get straight equipment. So it's a hero slash equipment gotcha. Basically, let's be real, hero slash equipment gotcha. Now in order to get an add an additional 10 with 16 promoter. Okay, so in order for a 10 pull, you need 16 of the star things. Okay. It's 1600 basically. <laughs> I wish it was 16, guys. I ain't gonna lie. Now, you see that little eye in the corner up there? This eye is basically a scanner. It scans around your surface and it shows you. Well, let's say there's an enemy nearby. I can't find one right now. It's not like they just pop up anywhere. But basically, if there's an enemy nearby, the scanner, I, I activate the scanner and it tells me it's hype, the enemy type. Now that is so good guys. Oh my gosh, that's good. Now also let's go to the map. You can also unlock these teleportation type of things. 
basically you can teleport any part of the map longer as you have along that part of that pacific park teleport station now as you can see out there obviously it, it kind of make you do it at the same time because like it's right in your face like just just do it it's not that hard oh yeah let me show y'all yeah you can jump up you can also swim i forgot to tell you about that y'all can also swim now let's go Ooh. now when you play the game they give you a safe way to play the game but you know i'm playing at like what 60 fps on mid only because i wanted to that just be real i wanted to that's the only reason now let's get right back into here let's go back to where we was at now i'm not going to show y'all none of the story mode obviously because i don't want y'all to i don't want to spoil y'all but you also have this glide like i said with the glider thing you basically you jump off a high point you can glide your way down but remember this do take stamina so you might want to be careful <laughs> i'm just saying i'm just saying you might want to be careful now, as you can see, this world is just beautiful. Like, it don't even have to be in combat for it to be beautiful. But you also have these dungeons that you can complete, too. AKA the dungeons. You can also, you, well, you can play them first. But when you get to a certain rank, as you can see, I can go in there by myself. And, but my recommended party is level 20. So, yeah, you know, we ain't at that part yet. We ain't at that part yet. We gotta, we gotta go. We gotta go. Now, y'all gonna watch me level this girl up first hand okay we're gonna go here we're gonna go to attributes we're gonna go here and then let's say i wanted to level her up to level 10 did you 10 of these boom level well it's 11 now because she was already level one and aka she out leveled both of my characters now which is kind of sad but i can always boost them up like by a couple and then she at level 10 now and then my other character can get two level ups boop boop i'm just gonna do that and then so then she at level 11 so now they all leveled up so it's easy to level up in this game to be honest but other than that that's all i gotta show y'all for right now um i see y'all in the next video make sure you like comment subscribe if you're new genshin impact is one of the best games out there